Hello guys, in this video we will explain the steps on taking the mangrove canopy cover photograph using the hemispherical photography method. The hemispherical photography method is an approach used to calculate percent canopy cover of a mangrove community. Corresponding to its name, this method uses a camera to record or capture the vertical projection of the canopy and sky in the form of a photograph. To simply put, percent canopy cover is the number of pixel or photo areas representing the canopy to the total pixel number multiplied by 100%. In this tutorial, we will show the correct way to take a hemisphere photograph. The first step is to determine how many photographs we should take in a plot that we study. Each plot has its own canopy characteristics. In a uniformly dense canopy, the plot is divided into four quadrants, where a hemisphere photo will be taken in each quadrant. Another type of canopy is relatively open in the middle area. In this case, we use five quadrants to take the photographs. Last, a sparse or non-uniform canopy cover. In this type of canopy, we use nine quadrants on each plot. The position where the photograph is taken is very crucial in determining the correct and standardized percent canopy cover. In general, the photograph is taken one time at the center of each quadrant. However, if there are several stands located in the center area of a quadrant, then the photograph should be taken in the middle of resultant of the stand position. Before taking the photograph, it is better to know which camera is the most suitable to use in the hemispherical photography method. Various cameras can be used for this method. For a better result, the DSLR camera is preferable. However, the size of this camera is too big and not practical to take inside a mangrove area. In the core map CTI mangrove monitoring activity, we use a pocket camera and smartphone camera with a resolution higher than 3 megapixels. When we compare the analysis results of the same area from those cameras, the results were not significantly different. A practical size, a smaller lens on the front camera, and the possibility to preview photograph results offered by the smartphone camera make it a favorite choice for our monitoring team. The lens cleanliness is one of the main requirements to apply a correct hemispherical photography method. A dirty lens will result in a blurred photograph and the analysis results will be not valid. The second requirement is the lens must be directed vertically towards the sky to capture the image of the mangrove canopy cover. The photograph should be taken before the sun is in a perpendicular position towards the earth. That is before 12 pm noon and after 1 pm in Indonesia. In this way, we avoid lens flare or sun flare on the hemisphere photograph taken. Sun flare disturbs the analysis of percent canopy cover. The analysis of photographs will be more difficult on photographs with sun flare. In general, the hemisphere photograph is taken in the chest height of the observer. However, the mangrove stand height can be very varied in the field. In a secondary or recently recovered mangrove forest, the stand height is low and most of it are saplings. In this type of forest, the photograph is taken at one-third height of the existing stand to capture the canopy cover. A correct hemisphere photograph sample is a photograph without blur, flare, and directed towards the sky. Another crucial requirement is the photograph should not contain any other object inside. Other objects mentioned can be a face, a hat, or any other objects besides mangrove canopy. Therefore, the rechecking or evaluation of the photographs taken is really needed to avoid invalid results.
there should be only one photograph taken in one quadrant. Please do not take double photographs in one quadrant because it will be potentially confusing and affecting the analysis result. One best and valid photograph to represent the condition of canopy cover in each quadrant.